Hey everybody, what's going on? Joe Kalis coming in here with blogwithjoe.com and today going to be going over the uh, WordPress plugin called Jetpack and Jetpack is absolutely awesome. It's a uh, it's a basically a bundle of functionalities. There's a bunch of different things that you can do with this plugin and is absolutely uh, essential in my mind for the beginner blogger. It's got so many cool tools, um, things that I actually used on my blog. Um, I'm a little bit more of an advanced user and things that I use that I didn't even realize were part of Jetpack until I started looking back at it. So here we are. just wanted to show you basically a run through of what it does, what the functionalities are and how to install it, how to use it properly. But um, I'm just on the Jetpack uh, plugin website and um, it goes through a bunch of features. There's uh, WordPress statistics and it's very basic statistics, very cool at a glance sort of thing in your dashboard. And obviously you can go a little bit more advanced and get a separate plugin with like Google Analytics or Clicky or, you know, choose your own analytics company. But you can basically do that. This is just a very simple uh, sort of thing. Works directly with WordPress and gives you a lot of cool stuff. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, an email subscription list, which is absolutely vital, uh, whether it's just a hobby or a business or, you know, you're just trying to get your word out about something. Um, it's pretty cool to be able to follow up with your subscribers, people that want your information. So Jetpack offers a very basic email subscription option where people can opt into your list. Um, again, you can also add in another plugin and integrate with something like, you know, third party company like Aweber or MailChimp or Constant Contact or any of these third party companies. They're absolutely awesome. But for beginners, uh, this email subscription is very, very cool. Um, social networking embedded. So basically when you make a post, you can choose at a click of a button to put it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, things like that. Um, so that it gets broadcast automatically as you post it. So pretty cool thing there. You can like the posts. Um, it's, it's combined with a Kismet, which is a spam filter. You can actually put a contact form on it with Jetpack. Um, there's a wp.me URL shortener. So it basically instead of, you know, yourblog.com slash something slash something slash something, it'll actually shorten it up for you and make it a very short thing so you can tweet it out, things like that. It's a lot of cool functionality, and uh, we can show you a little bit more about that. Um, as we go, I just want to give a quick summary, quick run through what we're doing here. But um, to, to install this, you want to go into your back end. So this is the basic dashboard of a WordPress site. So this is my wife's site, Tales of a Super Mom, that I'm working on. And it's going to walk through how to do it. So if you come over here and click on plugins like usual, you can either uh, hover over and go to Add New or you can click on it and go to Add New at the top here. Uh, so click on Add New and just type in Jetpack. First thing will come up, it's Jetpack by WordPress, 2.25 version right now, and four out of five stars. A lot of beginners use this, so it's pretty cool. So click on Install Now and confirm that with clicking OK. <clears throat> and um, and then you want to activate it, obviously. Click on Activate Plugin, and uh, that's installed. So usually when you install a plugin, that's all you have to do. It shows up on the left here like it does here. So here's Jetpack. It's combined with the Kismet for your spam filtering. Um, but... This is not done yet. You actually, it shows this big form here. Uh, your Jetpack is almost ready, so you want to connect it to WordPress. So you want to click on that to finalize your um, your account. You have to set up an account with Jetpack and get it going. So it gives you a confirmation page here, Tales of a Super Mom plus Jetpack plus WordPress. So that's basically my blog combining with this plugin and combining with WordPress, right? So Jetpack wants to connect heatherkalis.com to WordPress. So it'll ask you to put your username in here is your email address if you signed up with WordPress and your password and click authorize jetpack and it'll say authorizing and go through a bunch of stuff <clears throat> and voila fueled up and ready to go um, so the key there with jetpack is that you have to use your email address that you use to sign up with uh, WordPress. When you went into the back end of your hosting account and you added your WordPress account, you used an email address and a password there. That's what you have to use. So some people get tricked, uh, tripped up there and it's a little bit difficult sometimes, but here we go. We're good to go here. So feel up ready to go. So this basically goes through all those things I was talking about. Notifications, publicize, uh, WordPress stats, post by email. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, subscriptions uh, with email, um, sharing, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. It's got so many different functionalities. I don't use all these. You can add a contact form. I don't use that. I actually just lead people to my Facebook page, um, which is pretty cool. You can add extra sidebar widgets. 
um, all kinds of different stuff. So you'll see here that there's, what, 4, 8, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25 different functionalities you can add. So you can configure, activate, all those sorts of things. And this is all by just going and clicking on Jetpack. <clears throat> so here you go. And one of the things I wanted to show here is uh, the statistics, right? So if you go to Jetpack, click on Site Stats, this is what I was talking about. It gives you basic metrics on your website. Uh, views today, best ever, all time. Obviously, we haven't really launched uh, this website yet, so there's nothing here. But once you have visitors to your page, it'll actually start showing you some graphs and charts and things like that. Um, it refers where the people came from, the top posts that you have, so you can actually you know, you just keep those in mind and know that that's what your readers are most interested in different things that they clicked, if you have links, and especially if you have links to things that make you money, this is important. Um, that's If you do have that, I would actually suggest getting a more involved thing like Google Analytics or um, actually integrating with an email list um, subscriber like, you know, like I said, Aweber or MailChimp or something like that. Search engine terms, this is basically how people are coming to your site if they came from Google or some other search engine. And a lot of times it'll be linked straight through Facebook. Uh, if you're promoting it on Facebook or even LinkedIn, Twitter, things like that, just depends on where you're promoting it. If you're doing search engine optimization and you know working on keyword stuff, people might come up and look for you know other site is um, Tales of a Super Mom. So if someone typed in Super Mom, maybe that would come up, and I would know that that's the term they're they're, they're looking for. So I might want to do some more that search engine optimization, some more SEO towards that term, things like that. So you never know what's going to come up here, but these analytics are very meaningful if you want to kind of pay attention to them and know how to move your site forward. This is where it shows all your blog subscription, um, people following you, so that if you have one or two or 10 or 20 people in here, you definitely want to start posting some content so that it, you know they get emails with your posts or even using that, that subscription list to send out regular, um, you know, what they call a broadcast. You just send maybe once or twice a week is saying hello, checking in, letting them know you're a normal person, all that kind of thing. Um, so pretty cool. Jetpack is a very powerful thing. Got a lot of different functionality. I'm going to have different videos on more of these um, things specifically, but um, that is the basics of the Jetpack plugin for WordPress.